Hi, girls. I think dinner time is the most important time of the day. It's a time where you check in with the kids. You know, I think it's it's a time that keeps you know the the family engaged and and close. Mother, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn it down. <laughs> How many times have you made pause in your life? I feel like if you're not going to be raising your kids, you shouldn't have any kids. I miss club volleyball. Volleyball is a very masculine sport. Modeling is a very feminine thing. I so know. Gigi wanted to model all this time. Nice. Beautiful. And now she's like, well, I want to go back to play volleyball. And she's got to start building her career. And, and that means sometimes we have to give up things that we love to do. You know, you have to make a choice. Modeling is my job. Volleyball is my sport. These girls, they train four hours a day after school. So their bodies are big and bulky. And I mean, they eat like, like men. I wanted her to develop as a woman. In third grade, remember I used to wear basketball clothes to school every day? Yes, a Laker jersey, right? Yeah, to school every day. I thought that my daughter was a uh, lesbian. How are you, girl? Good. Gigi has been modeling since she's maybe three years old. I went, you know, to Fort, New York Models, uh, Elite. I, I mean, I visited all the big modeling agencies, and she walked out with a contract from every agency in New York. Gigi's got it. She's taking off. I mean, she uh, just did the big uh, fall campaign for guests, and today she's doing an, an ad for Europe. Are you excited about your birthday tonight? Yeah, I'm so excited. It's fun. See all your friends. Yeah. I'm so excited for the food. Pretty much all the food that we're eating is like a heart attack and a meal. It's like, but it's gonna be so good. It's good. You can have one one night of being bad, right? Yeah, I was actually really good this week. Yeah, and then you gotta get back on your diet, though. Because you know, in Paris and Milan, they like the, the girls just a tad on the skinny yeah, I'm side. Scared. Can I just look at these? Yeah. Great. Well, that one wasn't that good. Yeah, <laughs> the <exactly>. first one. <laughs> Look at these. It's cute, no? She's a natural. She's a natural. She was bred for this. There you go. <laughs> right? Good job, baby. I love you. I'm going to go home. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? I will. Make money so you can buy your first apartment in New York City. Yeah. Bye-bye. You're doing such a good job, Gigi. Thanks. Aren't you proud? See, it's hard to exercise six days a week, and it's hard to not eat any sugar, and it's hard to have to eat salad every day, but now you see how it pays yeah. off. Like, when I'm working out, I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. But then... <laughs> Who wants I'm, to be a model, right? But then when I'm shooting, I'm like, I'll do another three million sit-ups if you want. <laughs> Oh, are these cute. are cute. Do you want to borrow those? Yeah. Check my new glasses. Oh, those are cute. Are those from the 1970s? <laughs> no, they're from Brandy Louis Vuitton purple. So I have a question. Can I take some hats to London? How are you going to carry that? Because you can't you, just... No, you, you stuff it with socks so it doesn't go in. Mm. Or you just get a personal are you hat just, bag. Are you stealing another T-shirt? Is that what you're doing? <gasps> Gigi! It's cute when you have girls the same size as you are, so now they can borrow things from me. But. Sometimes they don't bring it back, so that's not that cute. <laughs> I want those. No, no, no. I told her, no, those are mine already first, and I get the army ones. I got to wear them first before okay, I give it to you. Okay, you can't have both Can of I keep those leather ones get the boyfriend had? Gigi already has No, 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 no. Gigi's life is so crazy right now. She has prom in a couple of days, and after that, she's packing to go to London on a photo shoot for Grazia magazine. Those no, are mine. These are leather. Yeah, they're mine. Yeah, they're mine now. <laughs> So it's easy when you're packing to go away for the weekend, but then all of a sudden when your daughter starts packing for her trip to London to go and do a job, it's like, wait, wait, where are you going? When are you coming back? You cannot yeah, have Yeah, and this. you give me those ones, which are the cheap ones, which... No, 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 no. Don't you can't have neither one of those. I love you both, but no. So when Gigi comes back from London, she'll have the rest of the summer to spend with all the important people in her life, and then it'll be the big move to New York. Wouldn't you rather Go shop back to in your, your closet your job than and... with a credit card? Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know why I thought I was such a tough ass because I'm really not. I go to her room and like cry, like I miss her. And she hasn't even left yet. I'm so glad, Didi, that you are making your own shopping money now. Yeah, girl. And Bella. I talked to my banker the other day, isn't that weird? You did? Yeah, she called me. She's like, oh, did she receive your checks? Yeah. Your deposits? And she's like, how much do you want in your savings? And I was like, I felt so cool. I was like, you can put half in there. <laughs> felt so you cool. Said that is she's so like, thank cute. you. Thank you, Miss Hadid. I was like, you're welcome, Miss Banker. <laughs> Miss Banker. Miss Banker. That is so it cute. Was really cool. I'm pretty sure I have like $8 to my name, so. So I'm gonna start with that career thing. I have raised all my kids in a very realistic way, even though they live a very privileged life. Can we video chat every day? Mm -hmm. Love you. Okay, love you guys. Keep mommy, I got it, thank you, okay. love you, bye. Bye. I've always gave them reality checks and hopefully raised really independent children that work, they need to make their own money and learn to survive on their own. Can I have this makeup thing? No, no, no. Thank you. But I just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for being here and um, for all of your, everyone in this room for your support um, as I've grown up. And so now <laughs> I'm going to college. It's so weird, but um, to my parents. Daddy, don't cry. Daddy, I'm gonna cry, so. <laughs> so to my parents, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much um, for everything. One thing I've always said about my parents is that they both came from amazing families, but they both definitely had to work their way up um, to for the life that they've given me. And, um, you know, obviously beautiful homes and, um, great opportunities have come with having them as parents, but I think the best thing that they've given me is just um, th their work ethic. As much as I feel confident that I've raised her in the right way where she can handle New York and you know her foundation is right, I'm also a mommy and I'm gonna miss her desperately. And to David, don't look at me because you're crying now and it's like really bad. Um, I love you so much and I I can't imagine my life without you. You're such a big role model for me. And um, you've taught me so much. Um, and why, you, you know, having one amazing father is great, but the fact that I can have a stepdad that is amazing as well is, just makes me even more lucky. I love you guys a lot. <laughs> wow, what a speech. Wow. It's beautiful. Make a wish. Make yes. a wish? A wish for your trip to New York. I guess not trip. trip. Your move. <laughs> okay. This is the hardest from being on our diet. I have to have a bite for good luck, though. Um, Mommy, you're gonna have a little bite with me. Mm. Yes, you are. I, okay, you give me a little bite, I give you a little bite. But not too big, no, that's too big, the half of that. Gigi's in charge of her own diet, but to be on your best weight, you gotta make the right choices. This is, this is you. You know what, Gigi, I think that's it. I'll do, I'll do this. How is it? I can't believe you just did that. So good. She's like slapping of groceries. I have the water bottles. Okay. Do you want to take these? No. <laughs> so those are you're young and I'm old. I ended up in New York when I was 17 with no money, no cell phone, no apartment. My mother gave me 100 guilders, which I believe is $50. So at the times, they're very different, the way Gigi you know, is set up today. When I first moved to New York, I was like, I had my whole apartment was the size of your bedroom. Really? And it had a little ladder with a little platform under the ceiling, and that's where I had to sleep. I would sleep like this close to the ceiling. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think Gigi is excited to be running her own household. I always felt that she should take a, a year off and just work and make as much money as she can, and she didn't want to. She was going to have a roommate, but the roommate's parents decided that they wanted to live in the dorm. And I didn't want Gigi to live in the dorm because I wanted her to more be in a work environment. Is it? I think it looks a little bit crooked to me, is it? 
kids party and go out and get drunk and you know and I wanted her to really focus on her career where she has to get up at five in the morning and go to work and shoot all day and you know that was important to me. Look how cute. Is it starting to feel like home? Yeah. I mean I'm just really excited to be like here alone. But like you can't wait for me to leave, is that what you're saying? Well I mean that's a mean way of putting it. <laughs> but like no, I know what you mean, just to settle in and yeah. put all the things the way you want it. Yeah. I mean, it's really cute. Yeah. Honey, I'm home. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. Hi. I just made a, I just made a crazy wild guess that you were going to be wearing all black today. What? They're the black swan and the white swan. And obviously, as sisters that close in age, there's always going to be competition. But Bella's going to do it her way. Mama. Yeah. Why are you doing this to me? Huh? Now I just want, I just, your meeting is at 9 a.m. So I need to do Did this. Did you look at these? Look! When somebody's looking for a brunette with blue eyes, Gigi's not gonna get the job. If they're looking for all-American girl, they're not gonna hire Bella. I mean, it's just a big competitive business. And you know, well, if it's meant for them, they're gonna survive in it and they're gonna be successful. Your baby sissy. Oh my God, they're amazing. So, Gigi. <gasps> you guys can't make me do this. I like all of them. Well, you can't have all of them. You can't pick you all can't of them. You can't have all of them. Those are my favorite. Gigi's already been in it for a year and a half, and she's done the work. And, you know, it's, it's sweet to see her wanting to make her little sister part of it. Which one do you think is better of these two? Which one? These two, with the cigarette. But I ain't even this one. Though. I like that one better. No, let me see. Can I see it? Bella wants to be at work. She said to me last night, Mommy, if I become successful, am I allowed to stop school? If she's starting to make six figures a year, then I'm gonna support that. This one's too posed. This one looks like she's just moving through the motion. So you always wanna go for the one that looks natural, like like you can move in front of a camera. Cool, okay. So this okay, one now. Okay, I'll put them together, thank you. I left Holland when I was 16, so I grew up pretty much on my own, but my two girls together, they stand strong and, you know, it's beautiful to watch because at the end of the day, that's they, all they have is each other in the big city. Ready? Are you like, <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna be very Tara. And? The model. That will be <laughs> moving on to the next round of America's next top model is All right, that's cute. <laughs> okay, time to eat pizza.